Hey, like I said uh, the last couple days, day three. Wake up. Hey, day three is that day where you're starting to feel a little sorry for yourself, body starting to feel a little, little, little roughed up. Yeah, we gotta mentally pick it up. Be one of the, be one of those guys that picks us up, makes a play, gets some excited, gets some juice going. All right, so get a break and let's go. We're going indie O. All right, O line. We'll go down to the sled. Here we go. Throw three, ready? One, two, three, left. Right, set, go. Good. There we go. There we go. You know, I was at, uh, at Tri-Valley for a long time you know, with Coach Buttermore, but then when you know, things didn't work out at Tri-Valley, I ended up moving on to Zanesville. When this opportunity came up, uh, things had changed a little bit. Obviously, it had not been very successful here for a long time, uh, but the league had you know, just that, that year split to big small, uh, which was you know, a big advantage or a plus you know, that I saw. And I was like, you know, if I want to be a head coach, this is, this is probably my opportunity. At Tri-Valley, at Zanesville, football, athletics were really, really important. Um, and when we first got here, that wasn't necessarily the case. You know, I think for a long time, the way things were done here is, uh, you know, people played football just to play football. I mean, it was just something to do, or another thing that, that they did. You know, the way we try to you know, practice and prepare and watch film and all that kind of stuff and lift and work out is that, you know, the, the kids become invested in it, right? And so like it, you know, like that first year, we still lost a lot of games. They didn't feel like going out and having fun afterwards. You know, it wasn't a dance party in here after, after a loss um, because, you know, it, it hurt to spend all that time preparing the way that we do and then go out and, and not, not win on Friday night. We've made a lot of strides. You know, obviously success, you know, on, on the field, um, you know, is, is one way to show that. So last year was was definitely a, a big step, you know, forward for us. Um, you know, coming from two and eight to six and four to, to nine and nine, nine and three last year by the end of it. So so big 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 step in the right direction. Kind of some ups and downs, you know, during the season. And I think at the end of the year, you know, we were playing, uh, especially those you know last last couple weeks of the season, weeks nine, ten, and then eleven. You know, the, the playoff win, were uh, we were playing some of the best football. You know, of, of teams that I've, any team that I've been part of. You know, when, it, when it came out to be Fairland, uh, it was a team that watched it on film. You know, good players do, do, do some really good things, but we were excited about that matchup. We thought we felt we matched up well. You know, again, we executed pretty well to start with. We got out, you know, up early, um, and then, uh, you know, kind of went back and forth. So it was, it was a really fun game to be part of. It was a, a fun year, um, obviously, you know, a history-making year as far as this program goes. Being the first, you know, time to win a playoff game in school history uh, made it pretty special. And I was, uh, you know, really happy for, for our players, really happy for our seniors last year that worked for three years, um, you know, put, put, put their heart and souls into stuff for them to be, you know, we always talk about getting on the wall. You know, we have a wall as you walk in our facility here that has the flags of the years of the great teams, you know, in our, in our school's history. And so, uh, you know, we always talk about being the next team to get on that wall. And uh, I was very proud of our guys last year for being able to do that. Our, our two days are, are, are pretty basic. Um, you know, we go, we, we, we never spend more than two hours on the field consecutively, uh, but we, we will come in and then most of the time we, we either watch some film from the day before or do any kind of install if there's any of that kind of stuff. Uh, and then we'll go out on the field for an hour and a half to two hours, come in, take about a 45 minute break, and then go back on the field for another hour and a half to two hours to finish. There's a lot of buzz, you know, around the community, media, all that kind of stuff. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of people around that have expectations, but you know, nobody has higher expectations for us than us. Our number one goal is to to compete for, you know, MVL championship. Uh, again, something that's only been done in you know three times in school history. That that's number one, uh, and we expect to do that. You know, the the offensive line are you know five guys that you know that we're always going to ride. They're going to kind of be the the lifeblood of the team, and uh, you know three of those guys uh, are you know incoming seniors that have started for. This will be their fourth year starting, um, and Connor McKenzie, Cord McKenzie, and Colin Thornton. So, you know, I'm really excited to see what what they do, how they continue, uh, you know, to, to lead us up front um, from the skill position side. Uh, you know, Jake Anton, returning starting quarterback as a junior, um, again, you know. Led us, led us in a lot of ways last year, um, and has continued to develop that you know stuff and, and, and kind of polish his game. You know, coming into this season, um, you know Carter Carter Winland, uh, who is a two-year starting uh, linebacker, is now going to be starting at, at running back for us. You know, Carter reminds me of when I think of an MVL running back. Um, you know, from you know, the 80s, 90s, you know, all, all the way through. You know, growing up in this area. Uh, he, he, that, that's who I picture. You know, very, very hard-nosed, physical kid, very passionate kid, um, and so you know, he's one that I'm excited to, to see go out there. I think we have a mature team, um, not just physically, but, but mentally. Our practices have been pretty sharp. 
um, even 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 now in the summertime. So you know, I think that we we got guys dialed in and and, and ready to go. One, two, three, one.